In a world that seems to be flooded with real estate agents, what is it that you can do to be above average and to exceed the expectations of the industry? Today what I want to do is to share with you seven ways to become an above average agent. Average is so boring. It's one of those terms where if we're going to do something, why wouldn't we do our best to be the very best we could be? Today, what I want to do is I want to break down some of the things that I see, the traits that I see, the things that I see top agents and those that are above average do on a daily basis. We're going to start with number one, which is know your market better than anyone else. Everything starts with information. Ultimately, our success will be determined by how much value we add to the marketplace. Hard to add value to the marketplace if you don't know what's going on in the marketplace. Take the time to study your market. Take the time to understand what's the average days on market. What's the average sales price, price per square foot. What are the things that people want to know about that will give them the information they need to understand the trends that are happening so that they can make the best decisions for themselves in their individual situations. You see, when you understand the market better than anyone else, you're on the right track to be an above average agent. The second thing you can do to really make your business stand out from the competition that you have and to make sure that you're above average is that you can have a clear understanding of the vision and goals you have for your business. What is it that you want your business to look like? Who is your ideal client? Have you taken the time to figure out who is it that I can add the most value to? Because ultimately, when we understand who it is we can add the most value to, and we do that, our business keeps growing. Also, do you have an understanding of the target that you're heading to? I used to have this story that would say that, um, I heard the story one time and it said, listen, they, you can bring the greatest marksmen in the world and you can put them there and I can outshoot that marksman at targets if a couple things happen. If you put a blindfold on them, you spin them around and they don't have any idea where the target is. You see, when you know what the target is, you can begin to aim to move in the direction of that target. Set a, take the time. Get a clear vision of exactly who it is you want to help, how much you want to help, what you want your business to look like, and when you get that direction, now we're ready to start taking steps and moving in that direction. The third step is to control your schedule. Time blocking is such a basic fundamental, really, strategy for success, but so many people lose sight of that. And what happens is, is we come to the office in the morning, we don't have our schedule time blocked out for the specific strategies and the action steps we're going to take, and all of a sudden, the world starts coming at us. We begin to start putting out fires, we begin to scroll on social media, or we have somebody pop into our office to talk to us. The most effective agents I know take the time to time block out a specific time, typically in the morning or in the afternoon, where they're going to specifically be on the phone talking to prospects. They're going to have a specific time that they're going to time block that they're going to be following up with existing contracts and their existing listings. They're going to have a specific time set up when they're going to have on their schedule that they can show property when possible to time block to utilize that time specifically for that. Of course, we're going to adapt to our clients' needs, but it's very easy for you to say, I'm actually available between 2 and 4 on Saturday or 2 to 4 or 2 to 5 on Thursday to show property if that works for you. You see, when you control your schedule, you control your business. What is it that you're doing to make sure that each and every day has a purpose, has a very specific strategy in place, and that you're doing the things in an order that helps your business move forward? The fourth step to making yourself an above average agent is to give above average service. I love the example that you see, whether it be with the Ritz Carlton at ultra high level or with Chick-fil-A with a fast food restaurant, of the attitude of it's my pleasure. They end their sentences with it's my pleasure. It really sets the tone of service to others. What are you doing to set your business apart from all of the other agents? Are you providing service at a higher level? Do you have systems in place to provide information that's needed systematically and in a timely manner that it helps you be the really the realtor out there that's adding the most value to people. The person that adds the most value to the marketplace will get the most value back. The fifth step is you're going to be above average agent is people need to know you add more value through video. You see what video does is, is if I were just typing this out and you were just reading this, you wouldn't hear when I would say things and I would drive points home. You wouldn't understand really the passion that I have for this business. It's the same way with you. If you're going to connect with your clients, it's going to be face to face. Video gives us the ability to leverage those things. The old saying says that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a video is literally frame after frame after frame. It's worth millions of words. When you're adding value through video to the marketplace, you're 
are leveraging the ability to reach more people, to affect more people, and to ultimately help more people. You see, when we focus on giving value in the best way possible, which right now is through video, our business can't help but grow, and we can't help but affect the fact that we're going to help more people, which ultimately helps our business more. The sixth thing is, is to attract above average clients. You know, this is what I found is, is that whatever you are and whatever you're putting out, it attracts back the people that will reflect what you're doing. When you become a student of this business and you provide more value, you're going to find people that value that value even more. You're going to find people that will have loyalty when you're a loyal agent. You're going to find opportunities for you to really stretch yourself and get around a group of people. This is where sharing the stories of who the people are that you're helping. Who is your ideal client? tell that story. When you tell the story of who that ideal client is and you share those ways that you helped them, all of a sudden now people begin to connect with it. The ideal client that you're looking for begins to understand that you are the perfect agent for them because you've helped someone just like them. You see, if you're going to attract those, those top clients, you're going to have to be a top agent. The seventh step is really probably one of the most important is work harder than anybody else. If you're going to be an above average agent, you're going to have to have an above average work ethic. I've never seen a top producing agent. Let me just say this. I've never seen. Now, I don't, I don't use those terms lightly. I've never seen a top agent that at one point in their career was not the hardest working person in their, in their real estate company or in their real estate marketplace. What is it that you can do to affect change the most? Learn the market. Add value to people work harder than anybody else. When you work harder than anybody else, you get more results than anybody else. It also, because you're doing reps, it begins to give you the opportunity to refine your business where you get better at it. Your presentations get better. Your understanding of what the client's needs are better. Now, think of it this way. If I'm the hardest working one in my office, I'll promise you I'm not going to be the lowest paid one in my office. If I'm the hardest working one in my office, opportunity is going to come to me that doesn't come to others. It ultimately comes down to this. If you want your business to go to a new level, you're going to have to do new things. And part of that new thing is working harder than you ever have before. We make it a lot harder than it really is. If you're going to be an above average agent, really there are steps to get you there and it's simply following those steps. Become a student of your market. Become the smartest one in your market that's the best resource for clients. Add value in new and fresh ways. Be the person that people think of as the resource and the expert in your marketplace and outwork everybody else. If you'll do those things, I know that I know your business can't help but grow. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.